Welcome back. Still tuned into Halftime Report on CNBC TV 18. Uh, well, it's a uh, good time to get a technical check on the markets. Aditya Agrawal of V2 Well Securities is joining us now. Aditya, good afternoon. Thanks a lot for joining us. Well, it's volatile, but now in the red. What are the charts suggesting? Uh, good afternoon. Thanks for having on the show. Just a uh, bit of a correction. It's not V2 uh, Well Securities. It's just for Edu. Uh, nonetheless, <laughs> I'll, I'll give you an update. Uh, so markets have entered into a consolidation phase at the moment. Uh, clearly, if you take a look at the way markets have been behaving, we opened with a gap up. Uh, past two trading sessions has been like that. And then uh, we just give up uh, the gains, the morning gains, and uh, uh, kind of we slip into the red or uh, maybe at the point, low point of the day. Uh, so all that suggests that there is a bit of a consolidation or maybe kind of uh, resistances around 18,300, 18,350 on the upside. Uh, so clearly, uh, that is the one area that traders should closely monitor between 18300, 18350. Uh, that happens to be the major hurdle at the moment, and markets are facing a bit of a, uh, a hurdle and a tough time to cross that immediately. On the downside, though, 18000 to about 18100 is your immediate support as well. Uh, so my sense is, index could continue to consolidate in that narrow band between 18 18100 on the downside and 18300 on the upside. Uh, both the Nifty and the Bank Nifty 2 is uh, showing some signs of a fatigue and uh, a profit booking around 41,800 to about 850. On the downside, 41,500 is your uh, support area. So both the major indices could enter into a consolidation. Uh, while your stock specific activity uh, could continue like you're witnessing in PSU space, suddenly today they're buzzing around uh, and uh, some of the metal names uh, to look attractive. So you could see a bit of a shift in the sectoral uh, move, uh, but overall index could remain sideways. Okay. And what are those individual stocks that you have for today? Uh, Mangla, we've got a couple of uh, buy recommendations. The first one that stands out is, is uh, Volta. So if you take a look at the way mm -hmm. the stock has performed, it's been uh, corrected uh, significantly uh, while the markets continuously uh, went up. Uh, now, after this uh, significant correction, it's come to a very close uh, and a very important support zone as well. Uh, so at current levels, the risk to reward is in favor of uh, going long on the stock. It's a low-hanging fruit. Uh, maybe at current levels, uh, one can look at going long. It's a bit more of a positional trade. One can look at a target of 880-900 on the upside, on the downside, 820 to 40. And is a very good support zone. Uh, so, uh, uh, Voltas is something which is a contra trade at the moment. Uh, second is uh, Polymedicure uh, from the mid cap space, uh, which is uh, doing phenomenally well. After a breakout, uh, stock went into a lull phase, and again, past two trading sessions, you are seeing good volume back activity in the stock. So, on the upside, stock can clearly test levels of 1100. On the downside, maybe 1050 will be a good stock. Okay. All right, Aditya, we're going to leave it on that note. Uh, thanks very much for joining in and speaking with us. Just want to point out Sun Pharma because that one is now at the low point of the day. There was negative news where the Mohali unit, in fact, has received an official action indicated status from the US FDA. So that's the reason why you're seeing the subdued trade come in on Sun Pharma. Just want to point out it's been a rank outperformer. It's up 20% on a year-to-date basis. So maybe the street is not too stirred by the negative news on Sun. We need to take a short break. On the other side, we'll put more focus on some more stocks and news. Stay tuned.